In just over two months, Canadians will be paying more for stamps. It's just the first in a series of changes coming to Canada Post. The Canadian Union of Postal Workers says there wasn't enough public consultation. And today it hosted a forum to find out how Edmontonians feel. Shannon Greer reports. Vanessa Crawford listens intently to a discussion about the proposed changes at Canada Post. I just don't get the move, you know, it's, it's not something that um, helps Canadians. In December, the Crown Corporation announced it's phasing out door-to-door -door delivery service in urban centres, and come March, stamps will jump from 63 cents to one dollar, and less bought in bulk for 85 cents. What we see is that uh, these decisions uh, to drastically change the Postal Service were made without any public consultation. Canada Post says it heard from a cross-section of Canadians holding 46 meetings in communities across the country and also gathering input online and through the mail. Canadians understand that change is necessary and uh, we need to make it uh, you know, as quickly as possible to do it right and, and that's the feedback that we heard. What we heard in the last month from the public certainly was an outcry and upset about the fact that they're losing door-to-door -door delivery. A concern for Crawford whose home business depends on package delivery. I just want to know if we do get those mailboxes, what happens if my parcels are stolen. Um, I depend on those to sell goods to my customers. According to Canada Post, community mailboxes are secure, but more consultation will take place. As we move forward to implement uh, community mailboxes to the one-third of Canadians that still get door-to-door -door service, we'll be talking to each and every Canadian that's going through that, getting their feedback. The CUPW says the focus should be on finding ways to expand services and is urging Canadians to talk to elected officials. Canadians should have a hand in making decisions on what happens with their post office. If Canadians think that this is an important issue, that they think that the government should make this a priority, then I encourage them to express that voice. If that pushback from customers will have any effect on how we send and receive mail, only time will tell. But Canada Post says in order to move forward, difficult decisions need to be made. Shannon Greer, Global News. Tomorrow, the Canadian Union of Postal Workers is holding a rally in Ottawa to demand the reversal of those planned changes to Canada Post.